Hey and howdy everyone, it's Jeannie with Paper Pixie Ink. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are getting started on tutorial number three for the Alice's Tea Party mini album. Today we're going to be working on the back of the first page, the front and back of the second, and the front of the third. So these flaps are five inches by eight and a quarter inches. So we need to cut paper to five and a half by eight and a quarter, and we need two of those. One piece of paper, we'll do it for both. So five and a half. And then we are gonna cut these to eight and a quarter. And then we're going to score each of them. That's a half inch mark. Fold on the score line and burnish it down. And we're going to do that for both. So those are our two flaps for the page. And then we also had these. So to create these, we're going to take two pieces of paper and we are going to cut them to, so these are four by six journaling cards. So we're gonna cut them to six and a quarter by, so this, this is, this is four inches. So we need four and a quarter, but we need that times two. <laughs> so we need eight and a half inches by six and a quarter inches. And we need two of those. So eight and a half inches, and then six and a quarter. So again, eight and a half. We got six and a quarter. And then we're gonna score these at four and a quarter. And so our journaling cards should fit on those perfectly. So just so you can see what that will look like, we would have so we would have like oops. We would have these just like So let's do that with the other one. So four and a quarter and score. And we're just gonna burnish these down really well so that they'll lay nice and flat. So these are our two flaps. These will go on the flaps. And again, I'm just going to paper clip these together. So those are our next pages. So moving on to this page, we'll do this one first. So what it is, is this is a pocket. So we have a pocket here, and then this is just a flap which we will actually magnetize this time. Uh, and then this is another card, just like the ones that we just made, except for this one is gonna go this way. Same size paper, same score line, same everything. So the pocket is seven inches. So to, cr to cut the paper for the pocket, I'm gonna take another piece of cardstock and we need it to be seven and a half inches 
because it's going to be, um, it's going to need a flap because we're going to need flaps on three sides to make the pocket. So one half inch. And then because it is eight and a half inches tall, we need to cut the paper to nine and it's eight and a quarter inches tall. So we need it to be nine and a quarter inches so that we can create two one half inch tabs. And then because it's going to be, we need it to be seven inches, so we need to cut it to seven and a half inches. And then we can score along one of the long edges at a half an inch, and then both of the short sides. So a half an inch and a half an inch. And this will create our pocket. So to do this, we're just going to take our scissors and we're going to snip these little corners and then we're going to fold and burnish along the, the folds. So this will become our pocket. So if this was our page, which actually died, we would have our pocket here. And now we're going to create a flap for the pocket. And our flap looks like it's six inches. Let's just measure and make sure. So our flap is six inches and by eight and a quarter, because we need this to be six inches, we need to cut a piece to six and a half inches. I'm guessing we don't have any scraps. Oh, maybe six and a half, perfect. So six and a half inches and then eight and a quarter inches because all of our pages are eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And then we're going to score at the half inch mark. Fold and burnish. So now we have our flap. We have our pocket and we have our flap. And then we're going to create that little booklet that's going to open up. And to do that, we cut that to six and a quarter by eight and a half. So six and a quarter. And then this is already eight and a half and we are going to score it at four and a quarter. So we're gonna fold that over and burnish. So now, our page will look like this. We have our, our pocket here, and then we have our flap, so that will lift like this, and then this goes on here and opens just like that. So, the next thing that we need to work on is this page. So, this is really just a flap, and then this is another flap, it just has a decorative edge on it. So, to create that, last time I used an on the edge die from Tim Holtz. This time I'm going to use um, this A2 bracket borders from Spellbinders. Now I know there are still some stores um, I think that carry these dies. I don't know if they're discontinued. I don't know. I'd have to look. I've had these for a very long time though. So I'm just going to use this plain one here. And I am just going to 
roughly see how wide this was. It was roughly like three and a half. So I'm gonna cut my paper to four by eight and a quarter. So do I have, yep. So I'm gonna cut this to four by eight and a quarter. And we're gonna score it at a half an inch, but I'm not gonna do that quite yet because I wanna cut my edge first. So I'm going to grab my die cut machine and I am going to place this on my mat. I'm just going to put it right up against the edge and then I'm going to tape it down. I'm going to put that and then I'm just going to run it through. So we have that cut, put that to the side. And I'm just gonna grab my trimmer and I'm gonna run this to that point. Always afraid I'm going to end up screwing these up. So I will just cut through the last tiny bit. So there's our decorative edge, which is a little different than the other one, but I thought it would be easier to show you with a regular die, especially one I know you can still get in some places. And then I am just going to score at the half inch. So this will be our flap one. And then our other flap is this size of the page essentially. So eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. So I'm gonna grab another piece of paper and I'm gonna cut it to eight and three quarters because again, you'll need a half inch strip to attach so eight and three quarters, and then this needs to be eight and a quarter because it's the height of the page. And then I am going to score at the half inch mark. Step side. So this is how we create that little, so this will go on like this, this is, this will be your spine, so this goes on like this, and it will open like this, and this will go on this side, and it will open this way. So I am just going to put those together, and then... The next page is this one. So thanks so much for watching this tutorial. Next tutorial will be the back of the third page, the fourth page, both front and back, and the front of the fifth page. As always, if you're interested in seeing more, don't forget to click on that subscribe button so you can get notified when I have new content available. Thanks so much, everyone.